hello guys welcome to my third video in this tutorial in this video we can start from where we left off in the second video so what we had to do was to pass the rows of data into the twig variable and display it in here the pagination is working and it is showing the total number of pages based on the number of rows in the database now we can use the countries variable that was passed to the twig which contains the data so we can remove all the test rows for now and we can use a for loop to display the countries so countries is an array which contains all the country based on the page number set so we'll use a for loop to display all the countries so now what we're seeing is that we are actually seeing rows of test data instead of country so all we need to do right now is to print the actual data that is inside the country variable so if country is iterable that is it should be an array which contains all the details of a particular country countries is a total array which country contains all the countries which was returned by the document function so we can extract each detail from the country array and display that so so now this should be working actually Mm, there is some error in the twig programming that I have done I think I have enclosed some tag yeah I have enclosed the end if tag so we can go ahead and test that thing so if you refresh the page it should show all the country detail now all that we have to do is to add the proper headings to the function I'll pause this video for one second I'll and type all the country variables now I have copy paste the country variable now we can refer the page again and see so and this is actual data from the DB based on the page numbers so we have around five pages based on the number of countries that should be displayed in the page we, which we have set in the controller now we have not added the href tag of the previous and next button in our last video so we can add that too right now so the previous button the page number will be current page minus one and for the next button it will be same current page plus one I would like to share this project with you people so I will provide a link to download the NetBeans project and also the SQL zip script for start uh, for setting up the DB in my SQL at the end of this video so just change that to current place plus one and now we can test that so now our project is almost working with all the pagination setup you can download all the project files and the SQL script from this website symphony simplified.blogspot.com it contains links to all my previous video tutorials too. So thank you guys for watching this video. Have a nice day.